10 lucky finds that made people rich. Sometimes we just get lucky. Maybe we're walking down the street and find a $5 bill or discover a 20 in an old pair of jeans. These types of things occur all the time. They happen to everyone at least some point during their lives. Then there are the jackpots. They do not happen to everyone. In fact, they happen to almost no one. Occasionally, you'll hear a story about how somebody found something that was worth a boatload of money. They end up going from rags to riches overnight. Today, Smart is the New Sexy collected 10 accidental finds that made people rich. Number 10. Whale puke worth $63,000. Ambergris is the fancy word for whale vomit. It's formed on the surface of the ocean over a number of years. Basically, when a sperm whale vomits, it floats on the surface of the ocean because it's less dense than the water. Then, UV rays from the sun and the salt water harden it over time. Eventually, it'll wash up on the shore. It is extremely rare and very valuable. Ambergris is used in perfumes to make their scent last all day long. It is sold for about $20 a gram and has earned the nickname Floating Gold. One day, Leon Wright was walking along the Australian shoreline with his wife and found a solid piece weighing 14.75 kilograms. That single chunk of hardened whale puke was worth $63,000. Number 9. Action Comics Number 1 Worth 3 million Action Comics Number 1 is the most valuable comic book of all. It was published in 1938 and is the first comic book to feature Superman. A Minnesota man bought an old abandoned house in hopes of renovating it and making some money. He purchased the house for $10,100. While tearing into one of the walls, he found the highly sought-after comic, and he immediately put it up for auction. It graded 9 out of 10 for condition and was sold on eBay for over $3 million in 2014, the most ever paid for a single comic. Number 8. Amarillo Starlight Diamond The Amarillo Starlight was discovered by a W.W. Johnson, a visitor to the Crater of Diamonds State Park in Arkansas, U.S. The diamond is the largest ever to be found in the park, the world's only diamond-bearing site in the world open to the public. When unearthed, it was a 16-carat white diamond but has since been cut into a 7.5-carat marquise shape, which has been valued at around $175,000. But this wasn't the last valuable rock dug out of that Arkansas soil. In 1964, the star of the Murfreesboro was discovered at the same site, weighing in at 34.25 carats. The 6.35 carat Rodin Diamond was found in 2006 and the crown jewel of the park has been the Strawn Wagner Diamond, a comparatively small 3.09 carat diamond that was dug up in 1990 and expertly cut down to 1.90 carats. Despite its smaller size, the Strong Wagner stands out because it was given a perfect rating by the American Gem Society, the first diamond to ever receive such a high grade. Number 7. Copy of the Declaration of Independence, worth $2.4 million In 1989, an unidentified man found a copy of the Declaration of Independence hidden behind a painting he had bought for $4. He had bought the picture simply because he liked its gilded frame and discovered the unspeakably fresh copy as he was throwing away the dismal painting. The declaration was found to be one of the first 500 printed copies, only 24 of which are known to have survived and just three of which are in private hands. At auction, it was sold for a cool $2.4 million, more than double what was expected. Number 6. The Royal One Worth $756,000 It was the last day of work for an Australian miner who goes only by Bobby. 
he was set to retire the very next day. After clocking out of work, he decided to stick his bucket in the dirt just one last time. When he emptied his bucket, he found what has come to be known as the Royal One. The Royal One is a single opal weighing 306 carats. Though Bobby had spent his entire career down in the same mine, this opal was sitting right at the surface under less than a foot of dirt for over 400 million years. An opal of this size and clarity has not been found since 1930. A single carat of opal with this level of clarity would sell for $2,500. So that means that prior to being polished and turned into jewelry, this stone is worth $765,000. Number 5. Anglo-Saxon Gold and Silver Worth $1.6 Sometimes hobbies can pay out huge dividends. A man who was on the verge of being homeless and living on welfare enjoyed metal detecting. He had been using the same metal detector for the past 18 years. One day, he was on a U.S. National Historic Site and discovered a collection of over 1,000 pieces of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver coins and weapons. The pieces dated back to the 7th century and were worth an estimated 1.6 million. Since he found it on U.S. property, the collection legally belonged to the government. The government decided to sell the collection off to various museums and gave the man half of the return. Number 4. 1974 D Penny Worth $2 million Normally, a 1974 penny is worth one cent. However, in this case, a single penny was worth $2 million. Robert Lawrence was the son, a longtime deputy superintendent of the U.S. Mint in Denver. When his father passed, he left Robert his coin collection. The coins were in a little sandwich bag. Shortly after his father's passing, Robert packed up his belongings in Denver and moved to San Diego. He left the little bag of coins in his car for over a month before he found them again one day. He brought the bag into an expert who was impressed by the 1974 D penny. Originally, the store owner believed the penny was worth about $300, but after a bit more research, he discovered that it was actually an all-aluminum penny, only one of ten made. It was believed all ten were destroyed because they were unable to be used in vending machines and therefore unfit to distribute to the public. Number 3. Stradivarius Violin Worth $10 million. A Stradivarius violin is the most coveted musical instrument of all. They are sold for millions of dollars. Stradivarius was a maker of stringed instruments in the 1700s. He is credited with inventing the modern-day concert violin. It was a violin that could produce enough sound to be heard over the rest of an orchestra. Prior to the Stradivarius, orchestras would need five or six violins playing the same notes in order to be heard. His violins were so sought after that they were often given as gifts to the royal families of various nations. One of these violins was found in the home of the copper heiress Huguette Clark after she passed away at 104 years old. This particular Stradivarius belonged to the French violin virtuoso Rodolphe Kreutzer and dated back to 1731. It was sold for 10 million. Number 2. Fabergé egg worth $33 million. In 1887, Fabergé egg netted a scrap dealer a fortune in 2014. The unnamed man bought the egg for $14,000 and kept it on a kitchen shelf for years. He tried to sell it for raw materials for just $500 when he was struck by financial difficulties, but he was told that he had overestimated the egg's worth. Frustrated, he googled Vesheron Constantine, the name engraved on the golden orb, and found an article from the Telegraph which revealed that he was in the possession of the third imperial egg, made by Fabergé for the Russian royal family, and worth a reported 33 million. Number 1. Coca-Cola Stock Certificate Worth 130 million 
This is the story of the ultimate jackpot. Tony Maron purchased a box filled with a bunch of random documents at a garage sale in California for a mere $5. When he began sifting through the papers, he found a promissory note for 1,625 shares of Palmer Union Oil Company. The Palmer Union Oil Company merged with another company, and that company later merged with Coca-Cola. After hiring a lawyer, Miron found out that he was entitled to 1.8 million shares of Coca-Cola due to the merges and stock splits over the years. Those 1.8 million shares are worth 130 million. Miron became the single largest non-institution shareholder of Coca-Cola. It was the most valuable garage sale found in history. Did you ever find anything accidentally? Was it a worthy thing? Let us know in the comments. Remember to click subscribe to be among the smart and the sexy.